Matthew 19 chapter. This is NIV. And read. Peter answered him, We have less left everything to follow you. What then would there be for us? Jesus said unto him, to them, I tell you the truth. At the renewal of all things, when a son of man sit on his glorious throne, throne, you who have followed me will also sit on the twelfth throne, judging the, the twelfth child of Israel. And everyone who have left houses, or brother, or sister, or, or father, or, or mother, or children, or field, for the sake will we, we receive a hundredfold as much as will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last. And many who are last be first. A message today. What have you left to follow Jesus? Yes, what have you left to follow Jesus? My friend, it's a very important message because this message tells us that what have you left to follow Jesus? There are a lot of people, my friend, that think that they can hold on to the world and follow Jesus. You think you can, you can hold on to worshiping Satan and follow Jesus. You think you can be a witch and follow Jesus. Jesus, my friend, he say that those that have left, hallelujah, behind houses and, and things and mother and father and sister and brother. And the reason why I say it is because a lot of people, they're holding on to traditional teaching rather than listening to the word of God. What can change you, my friend, change your mind, change your thoughts is to follow Jesus 100%. God don't want you, glory to God, to be 99. 99 and a half won't do. You got to be 100% following Jesus. And the reason why I'm following Jesus is because one day, my friend, I'm going to judge the world with Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to come down and conquer the world with Jesus. My friend, what have you left, glory to God, since you met Jesus? My friends, it's time to let go things and follow Jesus Christ. So what I say, it's time to let go your car. And the reason why, I'm not saying you can't drive your car. I'm not saying you can live in your house. I'm not saying don't let the car have you. Don't let the house have you. Don't let people have you. Because Jesus Christ told them, my friend. This is what he said. He said, I'm reading NIV. He said, then, then Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. At the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man shall sit on a glorious throne, you who have followed me will sit on the twelfth throne, judging the twelfth tribe of Israel. So I'm going to judge. I'm going to judge Israel. Oh, glory to God. And I'm going to judge the world with Jesus. What have you left since you met Jesus, hey, glory to God. And the reason why I'm saying, what have you left? Now, I mean, you can have those things, but don't let those things have you. Look at the prosperity gospel. They focus on the cars and, and the castle and the cash. Hey, glory to God. And they have not changed. My friend, it's time to let go and let God. Because if you hold on to things, things going to make you be captive. It's going to make you be a slave. Yes, it's going to make you a slave. What? Have you left since you met Jesus? The woman at the well, she left her water pot and go and went to the town and said, Come see a man that told me everything I have done. And guess what I say? Woman, we don't believe you because of your word, but we have heard him for ourselves. What have you left, my friend? Have you heard Jesus for yourself? Have you experienced Jesus for yourself? My friend, it's time to have a personal relationship, not with religion. Hey, glory to God, not with religion, but with Jesus Christ as a, as a personal relationship with him. Peter said, we have, left all, we have left everything, Lord, and we have followed you. One day, Jesus Christ was passing by, and he told his man, he said, Jesus, I must follow you. I must follow you, but let me go bury my father. He, Jesus Christ said, let the dead bury the dead. Oh, glory to God. What? Have you left behind 
since you met Jesus. Be honest with yourself, my friend, because things are holding you back. We ought to be spiritual. We ought to be holy. We ought to be not of this world. We ought to be like Jesus. Jesus was the light of the world. And he said, you are the light of the world. Jesus was the salt of the world. And you ought to be the salt. We ought to season the world. My friend, what have you left since you met Jesus? My friend, you got to let go of that nasty attitude. You got to let go of that nastiness, my friend. You stop letting sex control you. You got to stop letting people sinister you. You got to let go of Satan's hand and, and follow the hands of the man that have everything in his hand. Hey, glory to God. And Jesus Christ, my friend, he's not no man no more. He's a spirit. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. What have you left since you met Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I let go friends. I got a new friend. My new friend, they encouraged me. My new friend rebuked me. My new friend told me, get out of the way and let God, hallelujah, have his way in your life. That's kind of friend you should have. You should have no friend that want to have sex. You should not have no friend want to take you to the bar. You should not have no friend want to take you to the club. You should have a friend want to take you to God. Hallelujah. Our disciples told, come see a man. Come, come see a man. Come see Jesus. Hey, glory to God. What have you left since you met Jesus? That's my question to you on YouTube. Because, my friend, if you have left nothing, guess what? You're going to be left behind. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the rapture now. I'm talking about the, the resurrection of the dead and the resurrection of the living. Because the Bible said we should not all sleep. We should be we should be changed in a twinkling. In a twinkling. You, you don't want a twinkling? I don't want a twinkling. But a twinkling of your eye. As you blink your eye, we change. Woo! 